What's up, YouTube? Biggie546. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new. Like the video if you like the video. And I won't tell if you click that bell. But let's go ahead and get into this. Once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. So I wanted to do a dedicated video for hitting a thousand subscribers. And I thought a good way to do this would be to react to one of my old videos about Jerry Reese because we're dealing with Dave Gettleman. So a lot of this stuff will probably seem familiar to you because we're going through the same thing and it's five years later. We're still waiting for that team to rebuild. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into this video. Diggy five, four, six. Shout out to the Giants Mafia. Yep, that was... I don't have much to say in this video. Shout out to the TTC. That's what got me making videos. That's what got me on YouTube. I saw someone by the name of Robbie911. I'm not sure where he is. He's still subbed to me, but his channel hasn't uploaded in years. Uh, and then I saw Mythos 1966 and a couple of other Giants video makers, and I jumped on as like an 11 year old or something like that and started making Giants videos. So shout out to the TTC, shout out to the Giants Mafia. I mean, we're not making the playoffs anyway, so that, that loss really just helps Same us old out. story. Draft, but let me get to the draft. Just a different year. With, uh, <laughs> with Jerry Reese. I'm year after read. year, he sabotaged his team. This, anybody who saw Bad Dog's video saying fire Jerry Reese, I'm 100% behind him. But at least Jerry Reese was able to I'm pick up. This. Gentleman did, did, did pretty good this, this year. This is Jerry Reese's third and fourth round picks. Past year, it has been bad. And some second round picks from 2008 to, th to 2014. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you destroy a team. From 2008 until 2014, we got nothing in those drafts besides the first round and then all those guys are gone now so let's 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 hear what this what this intelligent man has to say 2008 mario manningham and brian kill mario manningham third round brian kill fourth round can anybody Both tell me who gone. brian kill mario is manningham didn't get a second contract mario manningham was worth it he made the catch ramsey's barden and travis beckham and a third round two third round picks two third round picks only Jerry Reese could have two third-round picks, guys that are supposed to basically contribute day one. If it's not at the end of the... I, I can't remember what year I said, but... We probably didn't have high picks, but third-round picks are supposed to be contributors. And Ramsey's Barden was like... I think he was like 6'6", and Giants fans were saying, you can't teach height. Just give him some time. Just give him some time. He'll, he'll turn into that player. We waited. He never turned into the player. He had one good game against the Panthers. And then Travis Beckham was basically the worst version of Evan Ingram. Like, I think he ran like a 4'4", four four, and he was like six feet and was... We just have had a lot of just speedy tight ends that have not turned into anything. Uh, you know, Travis Beckham will tie Evan Ingram. Let's see what he does. But so far, it seems like he's not going to be here. And you get Ramsey's Barton and Travis Beckham. Both of them have contributed nothing. Travis Beckham had one long catch against the Packers. Exactly what I just said. Other than that, didn't do anything. Ramsey's Barton That's had exactly one what I just Packers said. Like three years ago. Oh, yeah. And uh, Travis Beckham had that one catch, like I said, against the Packers, where we thought, oh, man, is this, is this dude finally going to start catching passes? But, no, it was just that one catch. Other than that, he hasn't done anything. They're both gone. Andre Brown had a couple of good games. And Look at my notes. I got a note card in my hand. I used to write down my notes. <laughs> Nowadays, I can just look at my computer screen or look at whatever screen. But, you know, back in the day, I used to actually write down notes. He had a good game. He had a good game. But all of those people are gone. That's 2009. And uh, you can say that's, that's pretty far back. But none of those people got second contracts. None okay. of them. No, no, none of, none no of them continuity on the roster. Starters. Well, it's besides Andre Brown for a couple of weeks because of injury. But Andre go Brown. to 2010. Chad Jones. Got Talk about car fool's goal. Can't do anything about Phillip that car Dillard, accident, though. Fourth round pick. Where, where is he? What a waste. What Didn't a waste. A second contract. 2011. Uh, I mean, so many You're bad like players. One. Second round pick. Marvin Austin. Oh, Marvin Austin. Story time, guys. I had a friend. 
when Marvin Austin got drafted, my friend's older brother or older cousin or somebody went to school and was on Marvin Austin's team with him. And he's saying, oh, this guy is a pass rusher. He's going to get to the quarterback. I'm, you know, I'm panicking because, you know, it's not like he was any good, but I wanted to draft Casey Matthews, I think. I think he ended up going way later, but I wanted an edge rusher to add to our team. And Marvin Austin was there, and they took Marvin Austin for some reason. He was out of the league, uh, out of college football for like the past two years before they drafted him. Jerry Reese would take shots on project guys in the second round. Anyway, that person that told me that Marvin Austin was going to be good, I can't believe I believed him. What a, he, he was an, a definition of a bust, a waste of a second round pick. And I would hate to look back at that draft to see who we could have drafted in that second round. Oh, man, I would hate to do it. Third round pick, Darrell Jernigan. Fourth round pick. Now, James Darrell Brewer. Jernigan had a chance to be good. But James Brewer was we, supposed to be a second year starter. We switched coaches. And that's what Jerry Reese said. He was supposed to pretty be a second much year lost starter. That chance. He'd be a great tackle for us for years to come. Blah, 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 blah. All of those people are gone. James Brewer was like a 6'6", 330-pound man who just Jerry Reese just said he's big and he's got long arms. You would see Jerry Reese come up and start talking about people's arms and legs and how big they were, and they would have no skill. Like, you're, you're drafting people in the third, fourth round, and you're saying that they're, they're three-year projects. And that was in 2011. That was, that was the last time we made the, 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 the playoffs. 2011. 2011, After 2016. Season, this is what we drafted. For the story Prince, of New York football giants. Marvin Austin, and James Brewer. And Prince might not get a second contract. He did. Even though he's a solid player, he might not get a second contract. Should have got one this year, but he didn't. 2012. Number two pick. Well, second round pick. Ruben Randall. Number three Ooh, pick. Ruben Randall. Gerard, Gerard That's Mosley. about 20 Eli Manning interceptions. Fourth round. Two fourth round picks. All his fault. Now, this... A lot of GMs, if you give them two fourth round picks, they'll get you. They'll get you someone who can contribute in year one, and someone who can so with Jerry Reese did at least with these in the fourth second round year, picks. or at least be a returner or or something. Make any kind of mark yeah, on the give team. Give us something. He drafted Adrian Robinson and Brandon Mosley. Adrian Robinson. See, Brandon Mosley, like I said, was another big offensive lineman that Jerry Reese just drafted that didn't have any talent, that didn't have any skill. And Adrian Robinson, you got to believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Adrian Robinson, when Jerry Reese drafted him, he said, this guy is the JPP of tight ends. I don't remember Adrian Robinson ever catching a pass. a touch. I don't remember Adrian Robinson doing anything in the preseason in practice. He was an absolute waste. Jerry Reese would take chances on guys who probably should go undrafted in the third and fourth round because he just thought their athleticism was just going to overcome everything. It doesn't work like that, Jerry. That's why you still don't have a job. Both of those players are gone. So that's that's Ruben Randall, Jerron Hosley, Adrian Robinson, Brandon Mosley, four Hosley. straight picks from the second to the fourth he round, was, not the seventh round. He was a liability. Round, fifth round. Second, third, two fourth round picks. And none of them are contributing. I think Jose got a pick six one year, and I thought he was gonna be, gonna be good, but and I would not it give him any credit because he's not like Mario Manningham or somebody else that contributed a little bit to us going to <sighs> the Super Bowl. Randall, man. And Mario Manningham made a great catch in that. And then the, the, the thing that he would that's, complain that's, that Odell was getting the ball too much. Contributed anything, <laughs> and through through the third, third and fourth round. Now 2013. Demontre Moore in the third round, and Ryan Nassib in the fourth round, who we traded up to get a quarter. Ryan Nassib was a waste of a pick. I remember, I don't remember which guy was there in that fourth round that I wanted to take, but it wasn't a quarterback. And we traded up to take Ryan Nassib. Really? And don't get me started. Whew. I mean... How many wasted picks can you make? Quarterback, when this team had already had holes, I don't know why we traded up to get a quarterback to be a backup when we already had a serviceable backup in David Carr. But no problem hey. with the backup positioning. We uh -huh. just traded up to take him. That that's basically it. 
Jerry Reese needs to go. He needs to go. <laughs> so I'll pause it right here. This is basically me wrapping up the video. Jerry Reese from the span of 2008, that 2007 draft, he drafted enough rookies to help us win that Super Bowl. So can't blame him. 2011, he, you know, he had the teams. But the cores of both of those Super Bowl teams were Ernie Acorsi's teams. And the Giants saw what Ernie Acorsi did. And they said, we're going to go get one of his underlings. We're going to go get Dave Gettleman. And he's going to rebuild the team. But you realize the teams that Ernie Acorsi built were built to win in the 2000s. This is 2020. Have you seen Patrick Mahomes? Have you seen, uh, I'm not going to say Deshaun Watson, he's, he's struggling. But have you seen all of the top offenses, all of the top teams in the league? They're all offense heavy. The 49ers, people can say their defense is good and all of this, but they run the ball. They run the ball all different kinds of ways. They throw screens. But they score points, and they're explosive. If you're not explosive and you can't score points, you're not going to win. Dave Gettleman, you're on the clock. I hope you guys like this video. I just wanted to react to one of my older videos. I know everybody hasn't been here for, you know, four or five years, so it's probably your first time seeing this. This is an unlisted video. But at the end of the day, <sighs> this team has got to get better. This was five years ago and we're in the same boat. So if you made this deep into the video, definitely hit that subscribe button. I make Giants content, NFL content, so all NFL fans are welcome here. And until next time, it's Diggy546 and I'm out.